All right, Jim. Well, let's go from comfortable clothing to maybe uncomfortable ratings. I'm not exactly sure. This past week, Tuesday night, October 10th, the ratings head to head Dynamite versus NXT. Any thoughts before we say the numbers? Yeah, well, I think we ought to lay this out. It's a little different than what we normally do. Let's give the, as we go quarter by quarter, let's give the AEW number and what was on and then the corresponding NXT number and what was on so we can compare them side by side. Okay, let me pull up everything. And for this past week, October 10th, NXT on USA Network was watched by 921,000 viewers on average including an average of 396,000 in the key demo. AEW Dynamite on TBS, also 8 p.m., was watched by 609,000 viewers on average, including 346,000 in the key demo. Just the, the fact that they were able to come that close in the key demo while getting trounced in every other category is, I guess, a small victory, but... Missed it by that much. All right, and I'm pulling up the ratings and the head-to-head numbers. These were compiled by WrestleNomics, who did a great job with these this week. So if we are going... I got to see if I can blow this up a little bit. Quarter 1, 8 to 8.15 p.m. On AEW, Christian's promo, and the beginning of Brian Danielson versus Swerve Strickland. On NXT, Cody Rhodes, Ilya, Dominic Mysterio, and Rhea Ripley's live promo. AEW, 731,000 viewers. NXT, 991,000 viewers. Ouch. So, right off the bat, that's a difference of 260,000 people, and it looks like from, from those numbers that Neither show is going to keep that steadily. They've got to lose something somewhere because that's significantly higher than both of their averages. What do you think of NXT opening with Cody against AEW? Well, I, I, they opened with Cody because it was the perfect spot because he was going to be the general manager. I don't think they were counter-programming. You know, let, let's get the, the biggest name we got from AEW to put in that spot. He fit it to begin with. I think that just happens to be Dinkle. Quarter 2, 8.15 to 8.30 p.m. On AEW Dynamite, the continuation of Danielson versus Swerve Strickland, and Chris Jericho versus Powerhouse Hobbs. No picture-in-picture, by the way. Commercial-free, both shows for the first half hour. Right. NXT, Asuka versus Roxanne Perez, and Tyler Bate and Ridge Holland versus Gallus. Wait, that was it? Oh, Tyler Bate, Butch, and Ridge Holland. It seemed like there were 18 people in there. There were only three people on that team? Yeah, and that was the pub rules thing. So this should have been a massive swing to AEW. At least they had a good match going on and some name value while there was bleh on NXT, but go ahead. AEW, 655,000 viewers. Ouch. NXT, 956,000 viewers. Okay, so at that point, 76,000 people gave up on AEW and... 35,000 gave up on NXT. Maybe everybody just had to take a shit at the same time. Well, quarter three, 8.30 to 8.45 p.m. On AEW Dynamite, the final three minutes of Jericho versus Hobbs and the Adam Cole, Roderick Strong Kingdom video, as well as the beginning of Orange Cassidy versus Ray Phoenix. On NXT, the continuation of the pub battle, now with picture-in-picture ads. And Becky Lynch, Lyra Valkyrie, is that her name? I don't know. Lyra Valkyrie video for AEW, 673,000 viewers. For NXT, 861,000 viewers. Ouch. So again, NXT drops 85,000 people, and they're down 130,000 from the start, but. Meanwhile, AEW picked up 18,000, but they're still down 98,000 from the start. So there's still about 200,000 in between. Quarter four, 8.45 to 9 p.m. On AEW, the end of Phoenix versus Orange Cassidy, Tony Storm's video, and then the picture-in-picture 
silent movie, Wardlow versus Matt Seidel, Jericho Garcia and Menard backstage, and the beginning of Jay White versus Adam Page with picture in picture on NXT, an ad break, and John Cena in the ring with Braun Breaker, followed by another ad break. AEW, 589,000 viewers. Oh, ho, ho, ho. NXT, 909,000 viewers. Oh, so Cena gets in the ring, bookended by commercials, and picks his show up 48,000, and the other guys lose 73, 84,000. It's a mix between Cena being on the other show and the Adam Cole segment followed by Orange Cassidy, who the fans watching on TV, I think, have been more sick of than the fans who attend the shows or Tony Khan himself. Yeah, and you can't even say that Cena took all the viewers away because he only got half of them. The other half just said, ah. Quarter five, the big nine o'clock hour. On AEW, the continuation of Jay White versus Adam Page with Picture in Picture, and the beginning of the post-match with MJF Live promo. On NXT, D'Angelo, Lorenzo, and Cody Rhodes backstage. Baron Corbin's promo. And the start of Ilya Dragunov versus Dominic Mysterio with LA Knight as a referee and picture in picture. For AEW, 549,000 viewers. Ooh. For NXT, 958,000. Jesus Christ. Now they're 409,000 people apart. And obviously at 9 o'clock, Everybody looked at what was on one channel and said, they lost 40,000 from the end of the first hour. And meanwhile, NXT picks up 50. All right, where are we going from here? Quarter five, nine to nine, uh, excuse me, quarter five, no, quarter six. What the hell am I saying? 9.15 to 9.30 p.m. On AEW, the continuation of MJF's confrontation with Jay White and Juice Robinson followed by another Tony Storm video with picture-in-picture -picture ads. On NXT, the final three minutes of Dragunov versus Dominic Mysterio, Cena, Trick Williams, Carmelo Hayes backstage, an ad break, Jade Cargill arrives, Cody and Corbin backstage, <sighs> Dominic, Ripley, and Frazier backstage, and Danny Palmer versus Lola Vice. For AEW, 557,000 viewers for NXT, 914,000. My God, and that plethora of crap, they only lost 44,000. And meanwhile, AEW is flat over there with the faithful they got left. Quarter 7, 9.30 to 9.45 p.m. For AEW, Hikaru Shida versus Soraya with Picture in Picture, and Don Callis and Takeshita backstage promo. For NXT, the continuation of Palmer versus Vice, the Chase U segment, Heyman and Braun Breaker. They chased me off. Heyman and Braun Breaker backstage, Cena and Hayes entering, an ad break, and the Lexus King video. For AEW, 558,000 viewers. For NXT, 887,000. And again, AEW, they've got the people left that are just going to watch no matter what and nxt dropped a few because the the star power decreased a bit but we're about to get to the main event quarter eight and i'm going to do the overrun separately this time because it's a considerable period of time they went both shows right. for aew uh picture in picture and full screen i guess finishing the callus Takeshita promo mjf and the acclaim backstage christian cage's live promo and the beginning of Adam Copeland versus Luchasaurus. On NXT, Asuka and Tiffany Stratton backstage, <laughs> and the start of Carmelo Hayes with John Cena versus Braun Breaker with Paul Heyman with picture-in-picture -picture ads. For AEW, 559,000 viewers. <laughs> For NXT, 866,000. And again... <sighs> 
the entire nine o'clock hour, AEW did 549, 557, 558, and 559. That was just, those people were like chained to the television. They're never going to change the channel. And NXT did 958, 914, 887, and 866. I'm surprised the 866 went down with Cena, Braun, etc. I assume they're going to do something about that in the overrun and potentially. AEW might come out of their fucking slumber as well. What what we do in quarter nine? Quarter nine, the overrun for AEW from ten to ten fourteen p.m. Adam Copeland versus Luchasaurus with picture in picture. The post match with Christian and Nick Wayne, as well as Danielson, Castagnoli, Yuta, The Gates of Agony, Swerve Strickland, oh, and Adam Lord. Page. See, I saw none of this. <laughs> Because they went four minutes over their own overrun. And on NXT from 10 to 10.08 p.m., the continuation of Hayes versus Breaker and the post-match with The Undertaker. For AEW, 606,000 viewers. For NXT, 960,000 viewers. Wow. Okay. So the battle of the overrun was won by NXT by the total of 354,000 people. They more than they had more than half as many again people watching their show as AEW did by the time the thing was over with. And the only quarter in which AEW won the key demo number, 18 to 49 year old males, was quarter three, which was the pub match up against. Jericho versus Hobbs the last three minutes into the Adam Cole video into Orange Cassidy versus Phoenix. That is the only quarter they won the key demo. But look... They got crushed look, everywhere else. The, the thing is, for all that NXT stacked up all of the, the big stars, right? Cena and Undertaker and LA Knight and blah, blah, blah. You would... <laughs> AEW normally has been doing 850,000. This time they did 600, basically, 609. NXT has been doing around 800,000 or more. They did 921. The point I'm saying is, is that you would have thought that if NXT was taking away 250,000 people from AEW, they would have even done a bigger number. How does this work out? Because NXT only did 100,000 more, maybe, than what they've been doing as an average, a little bit more in some of the quarters. But AEW lost 250,000 off the top and did the lowest quarters three times in a row that I or four times in a row that I can remember a Wednesday night show doing. So they didn't all... Start watching NXT, or is there a bunch more crossover than we thought? Is it the all the AEW fans are not fed up with WWE and hate the evil empire? How did this work? Where did AEW's 250,000 people go unless some of them, many of them, are part of the normal NXT audience to begin with? Yeah, I can't explain it. Obviously, there are people who DVR it, and you had to make a choice if you were going to watch it live, what you were going to watch live, but, you know, really not a good number for AEW. You would hope that it would have been a little better, even though it was Well, and, and that's the thing. If it was just all of the fans of uh, the viewers of Raw and SmackDown coming over to NXT, because, well, then they've got two and a half million of them. Seems like they would have got a bigger bump. But basically, it was just... <laughs> A bunch of AEW fans saying, fuck AEW, I'm going to watch NXT tonight like I usually do, apparently. But yeah, 300, at the, uh, on the averages, 312,000 people difference, which is more than half of the total audience of AEW. Well, those, and, go ahead. I was just going to say, and it's not like this was unexpected, except by... Tony in his mind, and maybe that's what led to some wires coming loose. Well, some wires certainly came loose. Those were the ratings for AEW versus NXT on Tuesday night. We'll see if we ever get another head-to-head -head 